in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers. Let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. Let us now pray the Holy Rosary. Please all kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, Lord, will open my lips, and my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now meditate at the five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick, and for those who care for them, that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions and the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, a most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, 
grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of His grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by Him at the hour of death. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Antonino de Paz, bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Padre Pio of Pietrelcina, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us now pray the angels. Please all stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Good evening, sisters and brothers. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. The chapel office is still accepting pre-orders for the book of our chaplain, Father Dave, It's All About Relationships. Everyone is invited to join the praise and worship every Tuesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. With music, prayer, and thanksgiving, let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. You are invited to our liturgical Bible study with Father Francis Gustilo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. Greenbelt Chapel is providing counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. Envelopes for our dearly departed are now available at the Mass Intentions Request Table near the St. Michael the Archangel image. Kindly drop the accomplished envelope in the donation box located at the side of the altar until November 15. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenville Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is October 15, 2023, and we celebrate the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please all stand and let us join in singing our entrance hymn. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Thank you. 
Kasama ng Espiritu sa walati ng Ama. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that He has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for His name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry of living in abundance 
and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All together, may the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts so that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parable saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon an invited guest to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves, flat." Fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroy those murderers, and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and, and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came, to meet the guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The second reading reminds me of one of my prayers being able to experience hunger and abundance in poverty and in plenty. Truly, there was a time when I really said to God, Lord, please, don't make me too poor that I may curse to you, but don't make me too rich that I may forget you. Inamin ko talaga sa Diyos yun. Huwag namang ganito kahirap. Huwag namang ganito kahirap. Alam mo namang may trabaho ako bago ako nagpari. Pero kung kailan ako nagpari, sa ako magiging pulubit, magpapalimus. 
Kaya minsan sa aking panalangin, sinabi ko yun, Please, don't make me too poor that I may curse you, but don't make me too rich that I may forget you. In the two extremes, our character is always being tested. Pag masayang-masaya ka, nakakalimot ka sa Diyos. Pag malungkot na malungkot ka rin, nakakalimot ka rin sa Diyos. Kaya nga pinagdadasal natin, do not bring us to the test. Huwag nating hahamunin ng Diyos. Mabuti nga yung may kababaang loob ka nang sabihin sa Diyos, Lord, di ko yung kaya. Di ko yung kaya. Nakikinig ako do sa isang pari na pinadal sa mission, apat na beses siyang kinidnap. Apat na beses. Four times. In gunpoint, kinidnap siya. He survived. Dahil kinikidnap siya sa ibang bansa, ibinilik na siya sa Pilipinas. At sinabi ko sa kanya, Father, di ko yung kaya. Di ko yung kaya. Pero kung naalala po ninyo, in the last papal visit, when we told the Holy Father, Father, the threat on your life is imminent. The threat in your life is imminent. I was the one in charge of the PayPal Pope's Mobile and the PSG and all the security would say, you have to convince the Holy Father that we will make a Pope's Mobile that is bulletproof. And the Holy Father said, no, I want my Pope's Mobile to be open. And the security insisted that the that the threat is imminent. You know, the Holy Father was humble enough to say, God knows I'm not good in suffering. I pray that it happen, God will make it quick. <laughs> Kung asan to pa, pa sinabi yun. Ako pa, di ba? Ano? Lord, sana naman. Kung mangyayari yun, san, bilisan lang, di po ba? Ano? Sapagat hindi natin alam. Mabilis kasi maghususga kapag hindi ikaw ang nasa kalalagayan. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, but what made me sustain through the years? As the second reading says, all things work for good on those who love the Lord. I guess God has given me the grace to love Him more than I love the comfort for myself. Anticipating what is in the first reading, that someday all of us will eat together. All of us will be in a feast, not because we are hungry. We will eat together because we will celebrate. Someday, someday we will eat together. Regardless kung may diabetes, diabetes ka o wala, hypertension ka lahat, eat all you can. That day will come. A good friend of mine, sa dinami-dami ng pagkain allergic siya, ice cream. Sa dinami-dami. Ha? Every time he eats ice cream, he's, get, he's being choked. Sabi ko, sa dinami-dami naman, maghanap tayo ng ampalaya flavor. O baka pwede sa iyo, di ba? Sabi niya, but I look forward someday that in heaven I will eat all the ice cream I can and I will not be afraid. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, for those who are faithful, not successful, for those who are faithful, the feast will come. The challenge is to be faithful. The challenge is to be faithful. Someday we will dine together to celebrate. You have to understand this, that in the gospel, there were people who failed to come for their own reasons. Kung inyo po itong napansin, yung matatanda, yung mas matatanda, ano po? 
mas matatanda sa akin. Ha? Ano ibig sabihin nun? If you have listened to the former Eucharistic prayer, the prayer was that all may be saved. That all. The church believed that all will be saved. Or the salvation of all. If you listen to the prayer now, hindi na ginamit yung all. Ang ginamit na salita ay many. Many. Because the church is accepted that not all will be saved. Not because God will deprive them of salvation. It is because they failed to yield to the invitation. Walang pinipilit ang Diyos. Kung ayaw mo dumating, di wag. Di ba? Kawalan ba sa Diyos? Pag ikaw ba hindi nagsimba, mababawasan ba ang pagka-Diyos ng Diyos? Hindi. Pag ikaw ba'y nagkasala, mababawasan ba ang kabanalan ng Diyos? Hindi. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ang pag a pag-aanyaya ng Diyos ay para sa atin, hindi para sa Kanya. The grace to be invited is for us. But there were people, there are, and there will be people who will refuse to come. Lahat ng mga tao sa kalye, isipin mo, nasa kalye. Sino yung wala sa kalye? Di ba? Yung mga may kaya. Yung mga may kaya, yun na nakakatakot. Dahil ba may kaya ka, tinanggihan mo ang imbitasyon ng Diyos? Yun na nakakatakot, hindi po ba? Ano? Mga minamahal, mga kapatid, those who were in the streets came. Everybody, everybody. And I always say this, we are invited by the grace of God, not by who we are. And when God invites us, God will not change your past. He will make your future better. Iniimbitahan tayo sa gitna ng ating mga kasalanan. Binabago ba ng Diyos ang ating kahapon? Hindi. Iniimbitahan tayo kahit ano ang iyong kahapon. Ang iyong kahapon. Ngunit, 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 ito yung malaking ngunit. Pero, pag naimbitahan ka, magbihis ka. Magbihis ka. Ano sabi doon? Bakit hindi ka nakabihis pang kasal? What is, what is the meaning of those words? Why have you failed to become whom you ought to be. Alam niyo po ba ibig sabihin ng damit pang kasal? Pag ang babae, ha? hindi naman yan pagandahan. Pag kami sa pagandahan, ano po? Pahabaan. Ha? Pahabaan ng gown. Ha? Kulang na lang, nasa altar na nila. Yung dulo ng gown, nasa pinto pa na simbahan. Eh. Ano po? Pahabaan. Pero, nakaladlad ng dibdib. Ano ba naman yan? Ha? Ha? Sala ang tinakpan. Di ba? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Pagkaminsan ang, ano ba? Nagkamali na na sa stre. Di ba? Ano pa lagi ko sabi dyan? Pag nahulog si Jesus dyan, mahirapan tayo. <laughs> Bakit po nakaladlad? Di ba? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, but what does it mean to be in a wedding garment? It is to be in submission. To be in submission. ba? Diba? Kaya nga yung mga babae, ano sabi doon? Wives must be submissive to their husband. Mahalaga yun. Ano po? It is a voluntary thing that wife will submit themselves to their husband. Hindi sinasabi doon, ha? Husband, ano? Ano? Make your wife submissive. Hindi sinasabi doon. Hindi. Yung pagiging submissive, yung pagpapailalim, may kababaang loob sa kanyang mister, 
Yun ay kusang loob. Hindi sinasabi nun, lalaki pang ibabawan mo ang iyong misis. Hindi. ba? Diba? Ang sabi ng Diyos sa mga lalaki, mahalin mo ang iyong asawa tulad ng pagmamahal ni Kristo sa simbahan. Maliwanag yun. Hindi po ba? Ano? Paano po ba minahal ni Kristo ang simbahan? Nagpakamatay si Kristo. Kaya nga pag ikaw ay kinakasal lalaki, titingnan mo mabuti yung misis mo. Magpapakamatay ba ako dito? Yun ang tanong talaga doon, di ba? Para lang matuloy ang kasal, sasabihin ng lalaki, Opo, Father, Opo, Opo. Tuwan-tuwa si Mrs., di ba? No? After 25 years, ikaw ba lalaki, magpapakamatay ka pa sa babaeng yan? Ano sagot ng mga lalaki? Mamatay siyang mag-isa niya. <laughs> yan ang katotohanan, di ba? Be submissive. To wear a wedding garment means I will submit myself to the groom. Kaya nga, napansin niyo po ba yun? Sa kasal, binabati niyo ang lalaki. Congratulations. Tama po ba? Anong bati sa babae? Best wishes. Hari nawa. <laughs> napansin niyo ba yun? Hindi kayo nag-iisip eh. Nung kayo kinakasal. Piling niyo, langit. Ano? Di ba? Yun ang ibig sabihin. You have failed to wear your wedding garment. That's why, even though you were invited, even though you came, but you have failed to submit, still, you will be thrown out. If you failed to believe, you will be thrown out. Kaya nga mga minamala, mga kapatid, ang Santa Misa, ay pang-araw-araw na imitasyon ng Diyos. Pang-araw-araw na nagtatanong sa atin, am I becoming the person I ought to be? Have I become more submissive, more faithful, more loving in spite of? Tanggap ng Diyos, hindi madaling sumunod sa Kanya. Nagalit ba ang Diyos na sinabi kong, please don't make me too poor that I may curse you. Hindi nagalit ang Diyos. Tanggap ng Diyos ang aking kahinaan. Don't make me too rich that I may forget you. Tanggap ng Diyos ang aking kahinaan. Tanggap ng Diyos ang ating pagkatao. Ang mahalaga, tanggap ba natin ang Diyos? Di po ba? Tanggap ng Diyos ang ating pagkatao Tanggap ba natin ang Diyos sa kanyang pagka-Diyos? It's good to ask ourselves what areas in my life that I have failed to submit to God. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> don't be too complacent when you are healthy because someday you will get sick. Don't be complacent when you are young Because someday, you will grow old. Don't be complacent when you are wise. Because someday, you will become stupid. Don't be complacent when you are strong. Because someday, you will become weak. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, nakikiraan lang tayo. Nakikiraan lang tayo. Huwag tayo makakalimot. Dahil kahit gano'ng kakayaman, pagdating ng araw, ililibing kang walang dala. Maging ang damit na sinusuot mo ay hindi mo pinili. Sira ang likod para lang may suot sa iyo. Di po ba? Ano? Nakakita na ba kayo ng patay na sinusuotan ng damit? Sira ang likod. Wak, wak. Tinahi. Mabuti kong tinahay na maayos. Hindi. Dahil, patay ka na. Di ba, ano? Kahit nga mayaman, hindi maayos ang makeup eh. Di po ba, ano? Kaya pag sinilip sila ng iba, ay, ang pangit. 
Kaya anong ginagawa ng iba? Nagpapakremate na lang. Ano? Nagpapakremate na lang para walang masabi ng ibang tao. Tapos ang ilalagay nilang picture nung sila ay college. Nakapotoshop pa yun, hindi pa ba? No? Ang malala ngayon, pwede kayong mag-upload ng picture nyo, gamitin nyo yung AI. Ginamit nyo na, no? Ang ganda nung iba. Ang pangit sa totoong buhay. Ay, ihanda nyo yan. At takpan nyo ang mukha ninyo ng AI para pagsilip. Ha? Huh? Siya ba yan? Mga minamahal ng mga kapatid, wala sa mukha yan. Nasa puso ang pagpasok sa pinto ng langit. Amen. Let us all rise and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and He seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are gathered together as God's family to participate in the Eucharistic banquet. Let us pray for the needs of all mankind, including our own. And if repetition, let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Church, the Eucharistic community, invited to participate in the banquet of God's love, may its joyful participation be an inspiration to all peoples to accept God's invitation with gratitude. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For the Holy Father, our Bishop, and all other spiritual leaders, May their example constantly support us in responding to God's call without delay. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For all Christians, and especially the Catholics in our country, may they realize the necessity of forming a community of disciples according to the teaching of PCP2. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For all those who feel more attracted by earthly allurements than by gospel values, may they come to understand that what really matters in life is to do God's will and work for His kingdom. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For all of us gathered here for our Sunday worship and our families, may we always participate in it with a heart purified from sin and adorned with works of faith and charity. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Every third Sunday of the month, we pray for the children we include them in our intentions, 
including those who are in the womb, that God will bless them, prepare them, grant them good future, heal them if they are sick. For this we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our loving Father, our generous and patient host, we thank you for inviting us to the wedding banquet of your Son, Jesus. Grant us the grace that we may always show gratitude for such a privilege by living in a way that pleases you. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an unending share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio Petrochina and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Yeah. 
our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace here in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive Him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be at the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister. Thank you.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Pedro Chira. Please all kneel. 
Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I will not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth. And continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May we call the little children to come forward so we can pray for you. Children, may ipin o wala. Nanay, pakibitbit kung hindi pa nakakalakad. Kung meron kayo malilit na bata sa bahay, isama natin sa panalangin. Isama natin na wa ay magkaroon sila ng magandang kinabukasan. Ano po? Na wa ang batang ito ay magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. Marami pang dumadating. Lapit po, dito po. Dito Dito pa po, dito. Habang lumalapit sila, sabi nung isang ang Isang matanda, sabi, Father, hindi ka ba naiinis ang ingay ng mga bata? No. 
Sabi ko sa kanya, nanay, parang mas maganda yung ingay ng bata kaysa umuubong matanda, no? Nagalit tuloy. Atin po ito ng ating mga kamay tungo sa kanila. Tingin natin ang pagpapala ng Diyos na manahan sa kanila. Mga bata, Lord our God, out of the speech of little children, you have passion a hymn of praise. Look with kindness on these, your children, whom the faith of the church commends to your tender care. Your son, born of the Virgin Mary, gladly welcomed little children. He took them in his arms. He blessed them and held them up as an example for all. We pray that you, Father, will also send your blessing on them so that they may grow in Christian maturity and by the power of the Holy Spirit become Christ's witnesses in the world, is spreading and depending the faith. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Magpapakabait ha, magpapakabait. Oh, balik na sa nanay at tatay. Thank you for bringing them to the church. Balik na. Let us remember the words of Saint Augustine. When you were born, God did not ask your consent. But if you want to be saved, God needs your consent. Inuulit ko, when you were born, God did not ask for your consent. Meron bang tinanong dito? Gusto mong ipanganak? Wala. But if you want to be saved, God needs your consent. You need to say yes to the invitation. And hopefully, hopefully, we will see each other in the banquet of God. Ano po? May nagtatanong, ano yung mga recent poverty mo, Father? Hindi na ako nahihiyang magsabi, palpak ng memory ko. Ano po? Uminom nga ako ngayon ng gamot sa utak eh. Ha? Nanghingi ako ng vitamins sa doktor. Ano po? Tapos sabi kanina nung bata, Father, do you remember me? Tinitingnan ko siya. Father, do you remember me? Tinitingnan ko ulit. Sabay, no. <laughs> Ay, nako, ang hirap. Ano po? But someday we will remember you. Someday I will remember you. Because everything that is good will come back. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.